hello everyone so uh, now we are going to start a new chapter all right so in this chapter we are going to talk about uh, how we can map relational database from er or er model so um so just a reminder about all the steps so when we are talking about designing a software for a uh, so when we are talking about a designing a application database application so the first step is that uh, we are going to have a software requirement in plain english word so the company will give us so from company we are going to get a software requirement okay so from this software requirement by analyzing this software requirement uh, we are going to get a er diagram or er diagram so the ER diagram is a very high level conceptual model, very high level conceptual model which will model every entities in our application and the relationship between entities. Okay, and all the requirements we are going to actually all the requirements we are going to model, uh, all the re requirements we are going to model in our ER diagram. So from that ER diagram, now we are going to the next step is that we are going to now model our ER diagram to the relational model. So this relational model is the real database model and this relational model will give us the exact idea, the list of relations, I mean the list of relations or tables, their uh, attributes of each relations and the data type of the attributes and their constraints so these three are uh, is going to i mean uh, these three is going to be clear in our relational model we are already familiar with the relational model okay so in chapter three we saw that what does a relational model look like and uh, all the constraints the data type of each attributes everything will be present in the in our relational model now in this chapter we are going to see that having a er diagram or er diagram how we can map a er diagram to our relational model so um it requires actually few uh, few steps okay few steps or few rules so in this chapter we are going to see all the rules and steps step by step approach how we can find having a ER diagram how we can get the appropriate relational model so so the first we are going to see that uh, we know the difference between ER and EER okay so the ER is the basic entity relationship model so in the first step we are going to see that from all the basic entity relationship model how we can map this to relational model so here we are going to have total seven steps okay so um, first we'll model uh, the regular entity then we'll model the weak entity and then uh, the next five steps uh, is about actually mapping the relationship okay and then we are going to see uh, the mapping the ER model all right so we know know that in er we have just few enhanced version from the er so er we can have the specialization generalization union category so in this step eight and nine we're going to see how we can model this the enhanced version like specialization generalization and the union type all right so let's start So now the DB designer, uh, the database designer is going to use the ER model or other conceptual data model. So ER or ER or ER is an example of high level conceptual model. So um, when the database designer is going to actually apply that, create the database. So they are going to use this ER or ER model. Uh, to produce the conceptual schema design okay the main database schema design so um, this schema design is actually independent from any specific 
DBMS. Okay. So, um, so in the lo uh, logical database design phase, uh, the conceptual schema design will be converted to the data model of the TBMS. So typically, uh, this will be converted to the relational model. Uh, in this, uh, in this uh, course, actually, we talked about the relational model, or it can be also converted to object or object relational model. So, uh, so the data model uh, mapping can be automated or semi-automated in many database design tool. All right. But here we are going to actually see all the steps from having the ER model, all the steps that is going to be used to convert the ER model to the uh, logical database design. So here we are going to present the concept of general mapping algorithm. So uh, from uh, having a ER model, like basic entity relationship diagram, there are actually seven steps. So first we are going to do, we are going to actually map the entities. So the step one and step two is going to, in step one and step two, we are going to see how we can map the entity. So we are going to see how we are going to map the regular entity and how we are going to map the weak entities. And then the rest of the steps actually, in rest of the steps, we are going to see how we are going to map the relationship. Okay. Also, there is one step like step six is going to talk about how we're going to map the multi-valued attributes. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. So um, here, this was actually our final product from company database. Final year model. Final year model from our company database. Okay. So um, in this chapter also, we're going to actually use the same example. So uh, in our chapter three, so when we talk about in our chapter three, four and five also, we used the same database, right? So in our chapter three, we saw actually the relational database schema. So the relational schema from this company database. Now um, we are seeing the ER diagram and finally we are going to see the step-by-step -step approach how from that ER diagram we are going to find this relational schema. Okay. All right. So as we said, our first two step, step one and step two, we are going to see how we are going to map the entities. So the step one is about mapping the regular or strong entities. Okay. So for each regular entity, we are going to actually for each regular entity E in ER schema, we are going to create a relation. All right. So for each regular entity E, we are going to create a relation R. All right. So in ER diagram, we have the entity and the list of attributes right so for each regular entity we are going to create a relation r and we are going to include all the simple attributes okay we are going to include all the simple attributes all right or the simple components of composite attribute so it's just important thing to notice we are going to include all the simple attributes or the simple components of the composite attribute Say for example, here we have uh, like few simple attributes in the employee entity and one attribute is a composite attribute name. But we are not going to take the composite attribute, rather we are going to take the simple component of the composite attribute. Okay. Now department has one multi-valued attribute, but uh, in this step we are not going to consider any multi-valued attribute we are going to consider only the simple one, simple attributes or the simple components of the composite attribute. All right. So, now 
then um, each entity has each entity can have one key attribute or multiple key attributes okay now in relational schema in relational schema every relation can have only one primary key okay but in ER diagram each entity can have multiple key attributes so if we have multiple key attributes we are going to choose only one of them as a primary key and we can choose actually any one of them as a primary key okay now if the chosen key e is composite then the set of simple attributes together they will form the primary key all right so let's see one example so in this er diagram we have three regular entities we have employee department and project so employee has most of the components are simple uh, attribute only name has name is the composite attribute so we are going to have a table employee okay and we are going to take only the simple attribute or the simple component of the composite attribute so we will have um, ssm all right b date then address okay salary sex all right and um, name is a composite attribute but we are going to take only the simple component of the composite attribute so we are going to take f name okay so we'll have m in it l name so this is actually the same table okay so this is actually the same table it is just a continuation all right so we will have a employee table where the attributes will be ssm b date address salary sex f name l name and m in it okay so now for department department we are going to have a table for department all right so for employee table uh, employee table has uh, employee entity has only one key attribute so this key attribute will be our primary key okay now let's talk about department table so for department entity it's a strong entity um, regular entity so we're going to have a table for department now uh, the department we're going to consider only the simple attribute so name and number all right name and number so we are not going to consider any multi-valued attribute here so department uh, at entity has two key attribute but uh, in our relational model every relation can have only one uh, primary key so uh, we are going to choose any one of the key attribute as a primary key so for example let's see we are choosing number as a primary key okay you can choose name as a primary key based on this er relationship model uh, you can choose any one of them okay so let's choose number as a our primary key all right so for here for project we are going to have a table for project and it has name number location all right so name number location all right and it has two uh, key attribute so we are going to choose only one as a primary key okay so you can here also you can choose either p name or i mean project name or project number but we are choosing actually number as a primary key okay all right so that's actually our step one so step one is simple consider all the regular entity from each regular entity create a table and create a table and choose all the simple attributes or the simple component of the attribute as the reg or attribute of the table or the relation okay and one of the key attribute will be the primary key 
all right so that's our step one we have employee department and project okay now just to look at like more reasonable here uh, the names are just simply changed i mean uh, you, ca you can you can use any attribute name all right so you can actually just slightly change the name of your attribute just to make it meaningful okay for example like for department the number is d number for project the number is p number okay but uh, obviously we are going to choose the name as meaningful as possible okay and also if we can actually distinguish between two tables uh, the end attribute name between two tables then we may actually choose a different attribute name okay all right so here one thing is that now we are choosing one key attribute as a primary key but if the chosen key attribute is a composite attribute in that case the simple uh, the set of simple attribute is going to form the primary key for example here we have a entity car so car has a, a key attribute license but license is a composite attribute and the simple components are state code and number okay so when we are going to uh, transform it in a relational model we are going to create a relation car and we are going to take the simple components state code and number as the attribute and color okay now as we are taking the state code and number simple component as the attribute they together is going to form the primary key okay so compositely there will be the primary key all right now we are going to talk about step two so in step one we converted all the regular entities now in the next step we are going to take care of our weak entity so in our er diagram we have a only one weak entity dependent okay so just a reminder a weak entity means uh, the entity itself okay so the entity itself cannot actually uh, identify each of its record so this dependent for example this dependent has a attribute name but the name only itself cannot identify each of its record each weak entity has to have a has to have a owner entity okay so the primary key of the owner entity and the partial key of the weak entity together is going to identify each of the record of the weak entity all right now if we have a weak entity so the rule is that for which each weak entity type w uh, with owner entity type e we know that each weak entity type will have a owner entity so for each weak entity type w with owner entity type e we are going to create a relation r okay that will include all the simple attributes of w as attributes of r okay all right so looks like we have depend uh, dependent weak entity it it is saying that we are going to create a table dependent and the attributes will be each of the simple attributes okay so we'll have name sex budget and relationship all right so we'll have let's create it here name sex budget and relationship all right okay so include as foreign key attributes in r the primary key attributes of the relation that corresponds to the owner entity type okay so in this dependent table we are going to include a foreign key attribute 
okay which is the primary key attribute of the relation that corresponds to the owner entity type so dependent has the owner entity which is the employee okay and employee has accession as a primary key all right so in the dependent table we are going to include a foreign key attribute foreign key attribute which will be the primary key of the owner entity okay so we can use a different name here just to uh, just to make it clear okay so we are using essm all right so what it means that now essn will be a foreign key in the dependent table and the essn will be foreign key and uh, this foreign key will be actually is going to reference the primary key of the owner entity okay and the primary key of r primary key of dependent table will be the combination of the primary keys of the owners and the partial key of the weak entity okay so dependent has a partial key name and all right and owner entity has a primary key essn now together they will form the primary key of the dependent table all right so let's see how it is uh, it is going to actually look like so we have a employee table where uh, ssn is the primary key now dependent table for dependent table we are going to create the first we are going to create the table with name sex birth date and relationship okay now we are going to add the essn here we are going to add essn which will be the foreign key all right which will be the foreign key and that is going to reference the primary key of the owner entity table all right all right and the primary key of the dependent table will be the partial key of the dependent name and the primary key of the owner entity table all right so that's our first two step we actually modeled each of the entity uh, considering each of the entities are uh, both regular and the weak entities okay so um, in the next segment we are going to talk about the rest of the steps